Hello and welcome to Lois and Morgana Davidson Art. It's Morgana here and today I'm here to share this simple impressionistic beach scene with you, complete with a pair of gulls in flight. I'm painting today on 140 pound weight, hot pressed paper, size 28 by 19 centimeters. And I'll be beginning by adding some clean water simply across the top two thirds of the paper. I'll be using the card swipe technique today, which is using the edge of an old store card to apply my paint. As you can see, I'm using three colours of tube paint to begin with, ultramarine, burnt sienna and sepia. To apply the paint, simply place the card at an angle against the paper and drag it gently across. You can vary the angle at which you're holding the card to create thinner or broader strokes of colour as you can see here. I'm going to add a little extra water with my spray bottle to encourage the paint to start moving before adding in a quick and simple sky as well using some ultramarine that was left over on my card. I'm also taking up a nice little blend of my leftover paint colours onto that 2 inch flat brush here to bring in a really nice but simple foreground. A small sprinkle of fine table salt across this foreground will create some pretty white blooms which I'm going to turn into a beach with a crashing wave. If you do have some areas of very thick paint or excess water left over from either the card swipe or the spray bottle, you can always use some clean tissue or absorbent kitchen towel to carefully dab them away. Once you've cleaned up the tape edges uh, with something absorbent to prevent any unwanted runbacks, set the painting aside to dry flat. Now it's the following day, I have come back to the painting now that it is completely bone dry and as you can see here I've decided to add a pair of dolls here in the top corner of the sky. I've just drawn them really lightly in pencil, just the outlines and it's just to get the shapes and composition to a point where I'm happy with it before adding the finishing touches to the landscape first. These long sweeping lines using the sword liner brush are designed to just enhance the beach with a sense of the wet sand and the lowering tide. And I'm going to be using my texture brush as well and some white gouache to turn the salt blooms you can see here into some sea foam and breaking waves.
A little extra ultramarine blue glazed across this lower area just builds that sense of the sea sweeping up and into the foreground here. You can always add in some rocky textures using a flat brush and a dark colour. Here I'm using more sepia. Lastly, I'm going to add some spatters of white gouache here for some sea spray. So, I'm using soft masking technique to protect the rest of the painting, simply by laying an old painting over the top area to protect it whilst I'm doing the spattering. Now all I need to do is paint the birds. I'm doing this using a little white gouache and some Payne's Grey for added shading, as well as a pair of small detail brushes. You could also always use an opaque white watercolour paint or a bleed proof white ink to do this part. If you do choose to use the ink, as I'm sure most of you are already aware, you just need to make sure you wash your brushes really thoroughly afterwards as the ink can sometimes dry quicker than you expect, which can damage the soft bristles of your watercolour brushes.
using a little cadmium yellow hue to add the beak and the doll's webbed feet and a little more Payne's grey for the eye. And now it's time to paint bird number two, using exactly the same technique. I'm really happy with how these birds have turned out, so I'm just going to show you the finishing touches, adding some dark Payne's grey to the edge of the tail feathers and the wing feathers. And that's it, the painting is finished, so it's time to remove the tape and see the final piece. Thank you everybody for watching along today. I personally really enjoyed painting this one and I am delighted with the result. As somebody who lives on the coast, dolls are just the essence of the seaside atmosphere for me, so I always love to include them in my beach scenes and of course today was no exception. If you enjoyed this video, please do pop a like down below and consider following the link to my Patreon page where you can sign up to see even more videos like this one. Thanks again for watching everybody, and happy painting!